Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. Now, these knuckleheads over at WrestleTalk have a conspiracy theory about my conspiracy theory. Why are you guys having all this conjecture? Why all this insight into what Paul Heyman said to the audience? When I'm asked a question, I give an honest answer. And I'll prove that again when I get my ass in a whole lot of trouble on Thursday, April 5th in New Orleans. Do you think he means knucklehead in a nice way? You know, like the Big Show movie. <laughs> Talk. Buy your tickets for an evening with Paul Heyman using the link below. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis, and a big thank you to SWAF Nation member Vinny Shui for making that intro. Also, Paul Heyman, you're 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 a knucklehead too. Sure showed that guy. The full debut of Matt Hardy's Woken slash Broken Insanity in WWE was given the main event slot on Monday's episode of Raw in an Ultimate Deletion match against Bray Wyatt, filmed entirely on the Hardy compound just like the Impact Wrestling episodes from 2016. But despite building the segment up throughout the show and making it the main event, Michael Cole introduced the ultimate deletion with an apology. What we are about to show you is so different, obnoxious, surreal, I am sorry for what you're about to watch. Michael Cole is rumoured to voice opinions that are fed to him directly by Vince McMahon producing backstage. And going by a report from WrestleZone, that might be where the announcer as Woken Universe Disdain came from. According to the site, there was a backstage belief in WWE that Vince McMahon was worried Matt Hardy's The Ultimate Deletion would bomb on Raw, and that it was a struggle to get the match on WWE programming. Possibly supporting this, viewers of Raw on the streaming service Hulu noted The Ultimate Deletion was cut from the show. Hulu puts up a 90-minute version of the three-hour Raw shortly after its broadcast every week, which offers Often involves minor storylines and inconsequential matches being cut. Sorry, Titus Worldwide. But to not include the long teased, much anticipated main event segment, drew complaints from viewers, to which Hulu itself replied, insinuating it was WWE who cut out the match, not them. Our rights to WWE content allow us to post pre formatted 90 minute specials of Raw. We don't make any edits on our end, but we'll share the concern about the omitted match with the right team here. Woken Matt Hardy has dealt with this in the most Woken Matt Hardy way possible. In character. I've learned of the blasphemy that the obsolete mule Michael Cole spilled from his muzzle. Vanguard 1, put this heretic on your civilian schedule. If this continues, he must be DELETED! A command which Vanguard Wong quickly obeyed. Surveillance order confirmed. Michael Cole, current location, Dallas, Texas. The eye in the sky is watching! And speaking to TMZ, Matt issued the following challenge to his boss, Vince McMahon. If McMahon has any issues with it, then I certainly have a spot here at the Hardy compound where I can DELETE HIM! Yes! Samuel Benjamin would love to start digging a hole for him. Yes! But given the Ultimate Deletion's performance in both TV ratings and YouTube views, Meek Mahan might have changed his mind. The Jeff Hardy return clip of the match currently has over 2 million views on YouTube, and while not as big a number as the previous week, Raw still drew a respectable 3.31 million viewers, with the third hour, where Ultimate Deletion took place, managing to average over 3 million, which Raw rarely manages. But while the Ultimate Deletion appears to be over with fans, popular opinion seems to be turning against my beloved sexy jacket. I initially got it as a we've passed half a million subscribers joke, but now I've become rather attached to the old thing. Sadly, as of yesterday, some viewers disagree. Ollie, my guy, how much longer are you gonna keep wearing that jacket? Ollie, you might be my favourite member of Wrestle Talk, but isn't it time to take the jacket off? You're seriously looking like Ollie the Jungle Pimp. I don't know why that's a problem. 
Just like how WWE listens to their universe about changing inappropriately named women's battle royals, we here at WrestleTalk also value the opinion of the Swaft Nation. So click the I above my head to vote for the fate of the jacket. We've had a good run, pal. Has the WrestleMania 34 set been leaked? Click the WrestleMania image on the left to find out at WrestleTalk.com and click the video below for more great wrestling videos. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.